He is haunted. And he has caused car accidents, broken bones, job loss, divorce, and other misfortunes. Robert Eugene Otto, or Gene as his family called him, was just a young boy in the early 1900s when his family's maid gave him a strange, straw-filled doll to play with. Gene loved his life-sized doll and brought it along everywhere, even naming it Robert after himself. It wasn't long, however, before people began noticing signs of Robert the Doll's evil and mischievous nature. As rumor has it, the Ottos and their servants would often hear Jean in his bedroom having conversations with himself in entirely different voices. Furthermore, the Ottos would wake up in the middle of the night to Jean screaming only to find the frightened boy in bed, surrounded by overturned furniture. Jean would blame Robert the doll for messing up the bedroom, while Robert would glare at Jean from the foot of the bed. Soon after, mutilated toys and mysterious happenings would appear in the home, only to find Jean proclaim each time, Robert did it. Though the autos didn't quite believe Jean, it was reported that they could hear the eerie sound of Robert giggling around the house, and passers-by even claimed to see a small doll moving from window to window. Robert was eventually moved to the attic where he remained for a number of years. Gene inherited his family's Key West mansion after his parents passed, at which time Robert the doll returned to his old bedroom, Gene's turret room on the second floor. By then, Jean had been working as an artist, and local folklore insists that Jean would spend his days alone in his mansion painting with his old friend Robert. Jean eventually married, and many tales of his wife's disdain for Robert arose. Conflicting rumors surfaced, some alleging that Jean's wife died from insanity after locking Robert in the attic, while others report that Jean died with Robert by his side. Today, Jean's residence offers as a bed and breakfast called the Artist House. Robert the Doll now lives at the Fort East Martello Museum in Key West, Florida, where some believe his hair color and his soul are slowly fading. Visitors beware though, as Robert's current favorite mischievous act involves casting curses on those who take a photo without asking his permission first. To date, the walls near his glass case are covered in numerous letters from previous visitors and naysayers, begging for Robert's forgiveness and asking him to remove any hex he has cast. To this day, we still don't quite understand this doll. Some would say it's creepy from its appearance. However, it's clear that something else is definitely wrong. Thank you for listening. And if you liked the video, then please leave a comment and a like. And you can suggest improvements and stories you'd like to listen to in the comment section. And please subscribe for more content ahead. Thank you.